Hello and welcome to our Valentine's Day STEM Challenge, another one of our Wayne Township 4-H Fun Fridays. Um, we hope that you're enjoying these activities and will enjoy what we're doing today. To start off, let's talk about what STEM is. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. We use all of these concepts in our life every day to solve problems. Today we're going to be using the design process. We start by asking what the problem is. Our problem today is how to turn flat strips of paper into a Valentine's Day sculpture. We imagine what our finished product is going to look like. We plan for how we're going to do it. We create it. Along the way, things may not go right, so we may need to experiment some and change our plan. Once we have put it together, we're going to improve upon our plan and make changes to make our sculpture better. Your kit this week contains an instruction sheet and eight to 10 pieces of different color construction paper cut into one inch strips. If you didn't get a kit, that's okay. The instructions are on our website and you can cut your own paper. If you'd like to cut more paper and make a larger sculpture, that's great too. This week you'll need to supply your own glue. You can use a glue stick, glue dots, or tape. Liquid glue doesn't work really great for this project unless you're very patient. To start, grab one of your strips of paper. You're going to fold your paper in half to create the bottom point of a heart. Next, take and put a dab of glue at the top of your strip. Next, take the two ends of the strip and hold them together to form a heart. You'll need to hold this for 15 seconds or more so that the glue will stick. If you let go and your heart comes apart, just put it back together again. You may need to add a little more glue. Once you have all your hearts made, then Take and put a little bit of glue on the side of your heart where you want it to join with another one. Again, you'll need to hold these together so that the glue can dry a little bit before you let go. Otherwise, your hearts may fall apart. Think about how you want your sculpture to look as you're doing this. When I looked at the instruction sheet, I decided I wanted to challenge myself to make a heart sculpture that would stand on its own. I added my own challenge of I wanted at least a couple of the hearts not to touch the table when it was standing. Here you can see my finished sculpture. Yours may look different. Again, if you want to add to this more, you can cut more paper. You can also change up your design. Once you finish your sculpture, ask yourself, how could I improve upon this? If you were to make another sculpture, what would you do different? What lessons did you learn? These types of problem solving skills will help you not only with your 4-H projects, but also in school and work later on in life. Hope you enjoyed this activity. Don't forget to visit our website, lanetownship4h.org, for more activities. And like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Wayne Township 4-H.